My name is Viorela Manolache and I am PhD scientific researcher at the Institute of Political Sciences and International Relations, Romanian Academy, Bucharest. Good morning, I am Henrietta Anishora Sherban, PhD senior researcher at the Institute of Political Science and International Relations of the Romanian Academy and uh, associate member of the Academy of Romanian Scientists. After this uh, short introduction, we would like you to present some top lines of a study approaching virtual logos and inclusively political alternatives, raising the problem of rendering logos in our virtual time. This statement is described by the investigation of the consequence that virtual logos recalibrate the relationship between logos, mentality and knowledge through permanent digressions and translation. Within this context, the working hypothesis of the study is that uh, virtual logos bears the hallmarks of a cultural and political delegitimating model. Our purpose is to verify the classical distinctions such as practical rationality versus theoretical one, understanding versus explanation, and then validating the identified manifestation of logos on the political sphere. Because the study accepts the status of language as an institutional mode and code. The methods, the findings and the results describe a puzzle, a portrait of the appeal of virtual logos to the exteriorization of the state of narrative knowledge. As a piece in this puzzle, we use the technique of interconnections capitalizing on Lyotard's affirmation that the new technologies are vulnerable to piracy. The effect of novelty can be also found in the reaction of the third German political force, the Pirate Party, with effect in the legitimacy of protection for online software, protecting and stimulating citizens' participation, reaction to the prospect of more minimal democracy, symptom of the current post-industrial democracy. The recommendation of the paper indicates, first, the virtual as a secondary model of politics, even more deprived of authenticity and even maybe more cynical. Second, at the same time, the paper emphasized that in this age of left, the virtual is both culturally and politically a hope for increased citizen participation as alternative to the predictable failure of the technocrat and as counterweight to the disappointment with representative democracy. On the cleavage between math and high culture, along with the positioning of the logos on the secondary row, the virtual recalibrates a neutral value produced in laboratory and delivered industrially in order to be consumed by the math. From this affirmation, one can easily observe the fact that, which remains after the dislodging a problem, forms a system harmonizing the reflexes, of course, logos, mentality, knowledge, with all the effects felt from the translation of the open system towards a delegate concept configuration. The intervention will accept in a postmodern key the transplant concept as a recordation of the different ways of communication or, in a modern way, an annexation of the way of changing a substance with another. The virtual implication confirms the fact that the narrative production has passed from figurate to intrinsic through the mechanical reproduction and the adaptation to the dysfunctional political alternative as a rhythm of the contemporary internet. From the group picture of the subject acting in a communicational way, a philosopher such as Jürgen Habermas expressed the profile of the original skeptic and the radical one 
practicing the refusal of the proof argument, the skeptic with the second chance, passing through the communicational action to the strategic one. Also for Marshall McLachlan, the profile of the Logos user can be placed inside place of key, a fourth workroom, first archetype deposit, as a self connected to modular fragment, an all for a bit, that who makes everything for a bit or by, specialized both in producing objects and in the automatic way of recycling them into a permanent production. The abolishment of the separation between producers and consumers extended also upon the political sphere, arouses the exaltation in the presence of a good chance of exceeding the nowadays dysfunction of the European model, that the evidence that virtual could diminish the way that politics is being made. Integrated to an age of less, the democratic pattern reclaimed virtual as an improved effect of transparency, citizen participation, and alternative solution for the evident technocrat savior. As my colleague has stated, in our view, virtual logos is the contemporary expression of the relation logos, mentality, knowledge. In other words, virtual logos is a both modern discursive rationality of our times and also a characteristic of our times. The development of new technologies shaped what is indicated in the paper as the age of less or democracy, and this is the phrase for democracy of speed from Paul Virilio. If we want, we can recall also the phrase of Anthony Giddens, the runaway world. Bottom line, present times in general are considered of less, somehow impoverished, criticized, for excessive hedonism, hasty communication, and lack of that. Yes, these new technologies have shaped new values namely freedom of information and free exchange of knowledge with cultural and political implications. These are possible only now due to new technology. Well, there are cultural and political realities which sustain and are sustained by the freedom of information and by the free exchange of knowledge. January 1, 2006, a political phenomenon was born, along with the Swedish Pirate Party, uh, advocating these new values, that is the freedom of information and the free exchange of, info of knowledge, but also strengthening other aspects, other valuable aspects, such as uh, the strengthening of the civil rights, the transparent government, uh, the aim of uh, a speedy and fair trial, the freedom of speech, and other more debatable aspects such as the right of anonymity in communication or the reform of the patent law or the reform of the copyright. Some of these values are debatable but some reveal precisely the unseen face of democracy or democracy, if we remember the phrase from Paul Virilio, as a vital and renewed democracy, a democracy shaped and forged and almost imposed by the raising of a new uh, sort of democratic uh, mass, the internal. We can say now that virtual logos is the discursive manifestation of a logos rationality and rhetoric of right now, with inclusive implications, as the title of the paper also states. Virtual logos is uh, as well a seminal logos, as it was the classical logos of classical philosophy. 
is as well common to all human beings with inclusive po political potential uh, as a shared logos and diacetos of a shared world that remains within. In a possible conclusion, cutting up, uh, of course, the skeptical futurologist view, an analyst at media court takes the distances from charging the virtual with the attributes of a platform for the active democracy, considering that the mediated electronic space is just a channel of communication which amplifies all the secondary discourses prophesizing that the future doesn't belong to pirates, but to truth. Our conviction is that virtual mediates the passing of the open communication to an open society in the sense that what aesthetics loses, politics gains in popularization, uniformization, and in free and extensive emission far from any censorship. The symbiosis first real virtual logos leads to a secondary reality with all the axiological and ontological coordinates of the first one. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.